So before building REST APIs, first we're gonna create one custom exception that is a resource not found exception. So whenever I uh, you know a resource not exists in database or whenever a record not exists in database, then our REST API should return to the client saying that this resource is not exist in database with given ID. So for that we are going to create a resource not found custom exception. So go to exception package new and then choose class and let's give class name as resource not found exception okay great so this is the very important guys so whenever i uh, you know there is an exception occurred in our spring boot application we should handle it right for that this is the custom exception so let's go and let's define few of the properties for this class that is private string resource name So we are going to return a resource name that uh, not exist in database to the client for that we have used resource name here and the field name and the field value so these are the important properties perfect so let's let's give object because the field value can be any type right perfect now let's go and let's extend our class from runtime exception extends runtime exception okay now what we're going to do is we're going to generate a constructor for these fields right click source and then generate constructor using fields and select all these fields click on generate and now we are going to pass a message to the super class constructor so look at here we are going to pass you know the message something like a resource not found with field name and field value so this is the proper message format so we are using you know format method of string class here just to format the string so here a uh, resource name is by dynamically passed here and this placeholder will replace field name and this placeholder will replace field value okay simple and here we are going to use just a getter methods for example get a resource name and generate get field name and followed by generate get field value all right and uh, it needs to have a default uh, serial id so let's generate by using uh, eclipse id the serial version id by using eclipse id here and we're gonna use here the annotation called at response status annotation so you can add this at response status annotation on top of rest api as well but uh, you know instead of repeating this annotation for each and every rest api that returns a status what i'm going to do is i want to add this response status annotation on this exception class itself okay and just define value as http status not found dot not found okay so whenever our rest api throw resource not found exception then the rest api will basically you know send not found http status to the client